Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Gaming Bros presents Let's Explore. Now, in this series, Let's Explore, I don't want to do it on any hardcore difficulty or standard difficulty. Um, I just want to show you a few things and uh, select areas on exploring. The first half is going to be done uh, with, well, basically Jill's apartment, but throughout the whole series of doing this we'll be doing Jill's apartment the downtown of the Raccoon City streets we'll also be doing the police well the RPD as well as the hospital the hospital bit will be done as Jill where we can explore a little bit more than um, Carlos can Carlos is only going to have one part in this where you will explore the entire police station in its entirety what I'll be doing is recording each part, but um, some bits will be cut out because I'll be clearing the entire sections out to make sure it's safe to walk around to show you every little bit that's in the game and having a good look. This might be boring to some people, but uh, I thought it would be exciting for people to explore Raccoon City and see what's around when there's no stress with all the zombies and enemies around. Uh, I will be, however, continuing some hints and tips videos through this assisted because it's a lot more easier for me to concentrate on playing the game and talking about where bits are. I will, however, be doing my research on the differences between the difficulty settings and t telling you what items are where in certain areas and what is different in them certain areas and uh, how to get around them. So let's without further ado, start this uh, Let's Explore series with Jill's Apartment. Right, well we start with Jill's apartment uh, in a, a nightmare, in a dream sort of state where it's pissing down with rain outside where well, we can't interact with the window to close. We're going to have a little look around while we're in the dream state. Well, the TV does its weird static thing. Uh, the nice howly wind in the background, her AC, I believe that's an um, air conditioning thing or a heater. We don't have them in the UK, so I'm not sure. A weird phone with a signal on it, I guess that's how they do phones in America compared to we did. Various different posters, Stone Age Girl, a few random ones I'm not really sure about, Ride. Uh, Chester was a police car one of the main police cars that was known in it. I wish it had the number from Resident Evil 2 on the back, which would have been a huge reference to that. Um, a Starge badge, which I can't really make out what's written on it. A few books down here that she obviously reads herself. Um, they kill him. A few, uh, something called Home, which looks like in the same way of Home Alone. Um, yeah, a few start packs of um, newspapers. By the look of it, uh, cactus, <laughs> a little hint to uh, Gary's more proper. Seems to be a load of pills and stuff, and coffee, and um, weird thing there, remote control, a beret, which apparently she must have two of because there's a beret in the police station, which you'll find out in the full Let's Explore of the RPD. She's got a handbag, a few bags over there, uh, and the combat, and the I'm revealing combat, mounting, mounted animals. Okay, she's got quite a few literature here, and uh, her cable management isn't that great either. It seems to go into that picture frame over there, to the bottle of wine. So she seems to have got into alcohol problems, and her bed is nice and messy. But other than that, she has a cleaner room, with just that little spot there, and her slippers over there. Some more books by the window, nice heater at lantern, which is probably a reference to Resident Evil 7. Some cleaning project. It looks like she's packing away to go somewhere. She has more beer in here, something about a home. A nice fan which has something written on it. Um not really sure, there's a lot of scrumpled up paper. A stars picture, a few other pictures of other people. Looks like Leon and uh, looks like something I can't really make, no I can't really make that out I guess that's Chris Redfield with the camera just a few other pictures and stuff Raccoon City with the pool um yeah some herb apparently booms rocket launcher I gather that's a picture of young I guess starting out in Raccoon City I'm not sure uh, we'll get to have a good look at that from outside the um 
dream sequence as well so there's always these stars pictures and that Birkin um, whoever that guy is looks like the picture of the RPD front gates some guy and random pictures some different uniform <laughs> flash of lightning some CDs you obviously listen to some towels in the drawer I guess as this is a closet which you can't get to see so some jumpers or winter gear so she looks like she's packing away now you can't obviously leave got umbrella newspaper some bread that's gone off that she was supposed to be um, obviously making herself some toes <laughs> old-fashioned kettle gallon of milk which the Americans seem to have gallons of milk we don't have gallons of milk here we just have pints apparently some unwrite readable writing if you guys can read what it says on there good luck I suppose in the PC version you can actually uh, extract the pictures but they're probably very blurred so just random photos of people another poster okay into the bathroom where we have a bath a lot of bleach products a towel and a curtain so I gather there's a shower in there seems to have a hamper on the toilet apparently there's a lot of bog roll <gasps> she's been uh, she's been oh panic buying buying a load of bog roll <laughs> some weird shelf there and another set of towels ventilation so yeah pretty nice detailed let's turn this off and uh, we'll wake up in from the dream sequence to show you around that so a complete difference when you wake up in the, from the dream sequence she has crosses where she's finally escaping Raccoon City at a certain date um, still can't make out what it says there some fingerprints picture of a dog that seems to be in um, it seems to be in our RPD. She looks like she drinks a lot of coffee. She's still got that signature up. Let's turn that light on. You can see the stars. Poster, report. Some random guys. The actual Raccoon City map. Annette Birkin. Um, for more details and stuff from what they're planning. The TV is actually on in this, and all oh, and seems like the window is closed in this. And you can't really see what's going on outside, but you can see there's a news report, which is the same thing you see in the intro, which seems to be frozen and pixelated. Her bed seems to have a lot of rubbish on, and her clothes seem to be on the bed. And it must be at some point she was wearing tights. And in this one, she has a lot of pills, apparently. But there's a complete difference between this and her dream sequence, which is weird. Um, yeah, she's got some clothes there, a phone there, and a gun, apparently. The stars, Beretta, which ends up getting changed because she doesn't seem to get it because she loses it when Nemesis comes in. Some more things on the bulletin board. Um, I never get a chance to read all these. I still haven't done the book one trophy, but yeah, it seems to be more clothes around this time. It seems to be she wears low tops or whatever. That. Uh, the closet's open in this one now. But yeah, it seems to be a bit more of a mess and what it should be there's a note from brad there's also a thing i'm still trying to do is all where all the files are which i still haven't finished but i need to do as a um a trophy video i'm still working on it seems like the gallon of milk is uh, is left out and uh full i love the way there's a shine on the table and she was making some spaghetti at some point and the cooker is a mess cookers never stay clean Oh yeah, you can also open the fridge for apparent, some apparent reason and find some more raccoon milk, <laughs> gallons of milk and a lot of beer. It's healthy for you. This is the point where it goes into third person eventually. The bathroom's pretty much the same. Um, which you can skip, turn the light on. And this is where it goes to the third person, which you can see a little bit more in the bathroom, but not varied amount. But this is the time where we're going to answer the phone. I'm going to show you a bit more after. What 
So in theory you can stay around looking in this area, which you can't see much because the camera won't move. Nemesis only comes out in cutscene areas. So in the areas you can turn this around, you can see that he's pretty much not even there. But you can have a good look in this office or room. And there doesn't seem to be much in here. And you look back in the room, he's not even in the room. You can have a look down here, that people are running panicking. And there's these guys that, well, he falls to his death. And he's trying to get out of the building that's on fire. He gets burnt, splats to his death. Nasty way to go. There seems to be a lot going on right now. There's even a guy walking down there. There's a lot of people scared running around. Um, yeah, I thought when I was playing this, I thought there was something here to pick up, but no, there isn't. And if you try and look at the map, there isn't a map here. Alright, as you can see in the fire area, there is not much to look at. The camera won't move. But you can see a few things um, blocking up some doors that you can't go to. So let's have a good look around here. We've got some nice flowers set up, some police cars blocking the road down there. Uh, we've got a few uh, police van that seems to be part of smashed into that car. Not much going on here, but you know. And I don't see the point of prompting this ladder that you can't really get to. Now here you can't really leave it, so this is the point where we can end the explore the Jill's apartment to go to the city um, explore. So that's Jill's apartment in a nutshell. So let's, let's go and stand back and look at her where she would be staying. This is a weird apartment. But that's the apartment. So thank you guys for watching me, f watching me, watching this video on exploring Jill's apartment. We'll catch you all up in the next video, which will be the streets, which will start from here, and some other areas that will be cut up together once I've cleared some of the streets out. Uh, you can't really explore much around this part as soon as you let the zombies through. But um, yeah, other than that, we'll see you in the streets of Raccoon City in the next video. Thank you for joining me for this video. Like, share, subscribe and share this to your friends on social media and we'll catch you with the Game Bro fans in the next one. Dismiss.